Welcome back, guys, to another short online tutorial based in Illustrator. My name is Jack. I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics. And of course, it's my absolute pleasure yet again to welcome you here today. The reason why we are here today, guys, is to discuss how we would create a simple logo design as the one you can see in front of you. This is just a little basic example of what you can do to create very cool geometric logo design. And what I'd love for you to do is view my video today. And hopefully that makes you think of amazing ideas for you to create your own styles. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is use our selection tool. Let's select everything. I'm gonna press shift to resize it proportionately and option on a Mac or alt on Windows to resize from the center. And what we'll do is let's put our little friend up here. Perfect. So the first thing I need to do is create a proportionate ellipse. So I'm gonna use our ellipse tool and I'm gonna press shift because yet again, I want to love a proportionate ellipse. Now with my selection tool, I'm gonna to duplicate our shape here. So that's option on a Mac and alt on Windows. And that allows me now to duplicate the, uh, the exact shape. Perfect. And what I'm gonna do yet again with our selection tool is select everything like so. Now, as you can see, I have my shape there, but what I need to do is remove this section. So what I'm gonna do is use our shape builder tool. Now, I don't wanna build the shape, I want to remove the shape. So what I'm gonna do is press option on the Mac and Alt on Windows and click and drag through, and that removes the excess bit I don't need. Perfect. Okay, so therefore I've created my shape. What I'm going to do now is get a, an ellipse and a very small little one like so. Let's resize this a little bit better. So it works very nice. And then what we can do is align it horizontally. Okay. So the reason why I've created this little ellipse here is because I want to use the center point as the axis for this to duplicate on. So what I'm gonna do is select the element that I would like to continue to rotate, which is obviously our moon shape. So with that selected, what I'm now gonna do is use our rotate tool here. I'm gonna hover and find the center point of my ellipse. And what I'm gonna do is press option on a Mac or alt on Windows and then click. And that brings up my rotate options. Now, what I want to do is, let's keep it at 15 degrees. I want to rotate it 15 degrees, but I don't want to press OK. I would like to copy it 15 degrees. Perfect. Now, what I would like to do is continue this transformation. Command when I have done the rotating it 15 degrees, and we can do that by pressing a shortcut, which is Command D on Mac and Control D on Windows. So now if I was to press Command D, as you can see, it's a perfect rotation. I now can simply just get my selection tool, select the ellipse inside, delete that. And now you can see I have my perfect geometrical logo ready to go. Guys, I hope you take this uh, information and I hope you create absolutely amazing stuff. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics as a school and the courses that we offer and obviously our tutors, please don't hesitate in visiting our website at www.blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, what you can do is find some of our amazing work by our amazing tutors um, and our students on, on our Instagram page at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Guys, take care. Have a wonderful time designing and I'll see you next time.